Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am back with some more Rolling Stones trading cards. This is the one where you can find random guitar picks, random girls and hollow foils. I'm thinking each one might come with a tattoo because we got a tattoo with each one last time, but we're gonna find out this time. Here are three more packs we are gonna open. Go ahead and bust open this first pack. All right, so we did get this, but we do already have this one, so it's a dupe, dupe already. All right, and then in this pack, we got the Stones Get Your Yeah Yeahs Out was taped live at Manhattan's famed Madison Square Garden during a pair of concerts in 1969. The Rolling Stones held a release party at a New York's Danceteria to promote their 1980s studio LP, Emotional Rescue. No Security, the band's seventh live album, was recorded from multiple shows across the two-year bridges to Babylon outings. It's pretty awesome. Next. Rock and roll pioneer and Hall of Famer Chuck Berry provided the Stones with Come On, their first ever single back in May of 1963. The Bridges to Babylon tour made a stop in Las Vegas with a theater-sized concert at the Hard Rocks joint back in 1998. Next one, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards are oftentimes acknowledged as the glamour twins as aliases they adopted in their late 60s. <laughs> the glamour twins. So let's go ahead and open another one. So far, not lucky with any of the extras. Fingers crossed, though. I know it's very rare. Which one did we get? Oh, we got this one, which we do not have. So that's pretty awesome. That one. And then we did get, um, I'm pretty sure this is a holographic if you look at it. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. John Paschi's iconic lips and tongue emblem debuted on the Rolling Stones blockbuster LP Sticky Fingers back in June of 1971. It's pretty awesome. We got a guitar pick. I just found it. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So we did get a guitar pick. So that's pretty awesome. All right, next card. Wow, almost missed it. God, I hope I haven't dropped anything else. <laughs> Jagger and Keith Richards were featured in the November 2002 Simpsons Rock and Roll Summer Camp Television Special. I do remember that. All right, next one. The original Stones Cadiff Castle Pla placard is one of rock artists' greatest treasures and has become a prized tour souvenir. That's pretty awesome. Rolling Stone's first U.S. TV appearance was June 1964. Cameo on ABC's The Hollywood Palace Show with Dean Martin. Go figure. <laughs> Who would have known? The Stones have tailed 12 number one hit singles since their first. It's All Over Now made its trip to the top in 1964. All right, next one. The Aftermath compilation LP was the Stones' first full record of self-written material and was issued on the Decca label in 1966. Wow. All right, so that is two packs, and we got a pick. So we're on to our next pack. Wow, don't drop them. Like I said, I almost didn't even see that one. And we got a holographic one in the, that pile. Now, I don't know if that means anything, but let's go to the next one. This is the regular one, but we do not have it, so that's awesome. Go to our cards and see what we got. Ooh. As a teenager, Ronnie Wood studied at the distinguished Ellings College of Art and begun playing in his first rock group. At the historic Altman show, the band hired the influential Hells Angels to safeguard the performance and the 300,000 on hand. Big mistake. Uh, in 1981, Start Me Up spent more time at the top of the U.S. music charts than any other Rolling Stones single track released in history. Stop me up. The platinum selling 2005 A Bigger Bang LP was the Stones' first release of a studio album since Bridges to Babylon in 1997. 
This is great trivia info. Ronnie Woods was born June the 1st in 1947 and emerged a Rolling Stone constant in 1975 after his successful tryout. I always think he looks like Rod Stewart. All right, next. Last one. Angie. Angie went to number one in the U.S. and would become the first Rolling Stones ballad to ever be released in Britain as a single. Wow. Angie. This is a really cool song, too. All right, so we scored a guitar pick, and we got, I think, one dupe on the tattoos, but all the cards were not dupes yet. Yes. And we will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, leave that comment, stick around, check out my Patreons, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.